it's the doubles teams are definitely on a different level when when they play in their element. So, uh, yeah, sometimes they can beat better teams, quote unquote. But uh, yeah, but we got um Kamix and Booty. We have Sonic and Cloud on the screen. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like that's a really good doubles team. Yeah. I'll, I'll say that much. Um, Cloud, obviously, like famously good for doubles in four, has some similar strengths going for him in a lot of moves that kind of sound like horizontally good for team combos with the aerials. In addition to just having raw kill power um, really frequently, especially with limit. Yeah, and and Sonic, Sonic could definitely uh, lengthen the amount of, of game time with like you know Sonic speed, Sonic running around and stuff like that. You can have Cloud charge limit pretty fast, but um. Right now, it seems like pretty even. Um, I'm interested to see what Ness and Cloud do. Ness and Yoshi do off stage against like Sonic and Cloud. I feel like Cloud could definitely get gifted doubles really easily. Yeah, and right there we saw something really unfortunate. Uh, getting a whip punish, F smashing all three, but it only ended up killing the teammate right there. So a slight stock lead coming out for Green Team right here. Yeah, and yeah, and. Uh, PK Chris getting that back throw kill, and now they're down a whole stock. But, you know, it's still pretty close. It's still anybody's game. But right now, they really need to get the stock off because Chris and Suarez are racking up the damage like nobody's business. Yeah, the thing with that uh, that team kill right there is I feel like a stock on Sonic is so valuable because your whole role is to live as long as possible. So to lose the first stock as Sonic can really just kind of let the game spiral out of control. Right here, a pretty sizable percent deficit. They're going to have to really clutch up. Yeah, and I, I kind of want to see more limit play coming out from uh, Booty. I feel like he hasn't been getting a lot of limit, and that's kind of what Cloud's gimmick is in doubles, right? He sits back and charges limit while the other other character kind of does a lot of the heavy lifting. But right now, we're kind of seeing Booty doing a lot of the swinging and less of the camping. Yeah, that's the thing is, like, Sonic is, um, I feel like it's pretty clear that his role is also sitting back and kind of letting the other person do the swinging, but when they both have that game plan, Booty's the one who has to kind of switch things up, and it's not really working out because the Condors are getting so overwhelmed, Booty has no time to get limit off. Yeah, and, and Yoshi and Ness are characters that have a lot of uh, good aerial buttons, right? So if you're jumping in the air randomly and, and you're getting aired air by Ness Nair and uh, Yoshi Nair, it's like not fun at all, and that's exactly what PK Kirsten Suarez are doing. Oh, and look at that. They definitely seem really aware of each other. I feel like, I mean, they're both Long Island players. They're both probably good friends. I feel like there's a solid chance to lose the F team before. Yeah, and, and yeah, right now Booty's in trouble. Booty's scrambling. I would, yeah, yeah, okay. That was that was a good save by Camus because Booty was definitely struggling out there. But, um, and Camus is doing a great job at defending Booty right now, but they need to get some type of offense going because right now it looks like they're getting um, kind of run over. Yeah, I feel like for this team uh, to work, this team dynamic to work out with Kamex and Booty, they have to kind of start off with the lead, but since they just started off instantly like down, I feel like their kind of whole plan is crumbling a bit. Yeah, and when we talk about what game plan, right, I feel like their game plan, I don't think they really gave, went in with a game plan, because I honestly, like, Booty's swinging, he's, he already lost his stock, and Kamex soon after, and I feel like, you know, this team composition relies on two characters that kind of run away. I feel like maybe we might see a character just by Booty, maybe we might see a Meta or maybe a Pichu, a character that's a little bit more aggressive, more in your face, so Kamis can maybe lay back a little bit. 100%, yeah, and especially just with, uh, not only is do they need to switch up their dynamic a bit, but I feel like they're kind of getting counterplayed with how Suarez and PK Chris are playing. These are just, like you were saying, really good aerials, really good air speed, especially on Yoshi. You can just smother so much without them ever being able to get the Sonic spin dash camping, get the cloud spaced aerials. Um, so I feel like they're going to want to stage with a lot of space if they're picking counter picks because they're just getting super overwhelmed. Um, and right there, we did see a team combo come out yeah. with them. So they do have some semblance of like synergy. They seem to get the momentum going to work on it. Yeah, and that's the thing. Sonic is definitely a setup character, right? His, uh, Sonic's down throw sets up for combos. Sonic's back throw sets up for combos, right? So it's one of those things where you have two almost setup characters. You have a setup character and you have a character who ca stays back, kind of camps their win condition, right? And with that circumstance, they're not really getting, you know, they're not really getting what they want out of it. But, you know, they're going to do the run back again on PS2. Um, we'll see if it turns out a little bit differently. Yeah, I, I don't blame this PS2 run back because it is a pretty big stage. Um, and I, I do think, like, it's mostly just going to be a matter of switching up your game plan yeah. rather than any stage being a huge factor as long as it's decently sized. Yeah, and right now, man, Booty's in trouble. He's getting beat up right now. And good stuff by Kamix, but he's still on the ledge. Had to burn the limit. Um, and, that's another, and that's the thing, that's another wasted limit stock, and his stock is gone. 
right? You had one limit down in the tank, and then you launch attack immediately. It's like pretty discouraging. And now I could very easily see this being a repeat of game one, oh, just yeah. losing a deficit like that. Now uh, Suarez and PK Chris know that they can just keep pushing and they won't have time to set up. Let me say another interesting thing about uh, Yoshi and doubles, as we saw right there, such a floaty character with insane airspeed. Suarez was able to just kind of stay in the general vicinity of where Ness's throw was going to be and yeah. then react and punish. So that's a really strong thing for Yoshi and doubles. You could just kind of stay in the air and wait for your opponent to toss someone to you. Yeah, and, and that also lends both of them to be good at sandwiching characters, right? Like, both both of those characters are good. Like, Yoshi, um, Nair, back air, um, Ness, back air, and Nair are good at sandwiching characters. And right now, it's pretty much all they're doing. They're it's almost like they're picking on booty and then letting Kamek spin charge in the corner and do nothing. Yeah, I think that's exactly what's going on. Because, I mean, Kamek just isn't applying enough pressure to warrant, like, the stock tanking. So they can just keep farming booty. And mm. it's basically just 2v1-ing. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, um... Yeah, right now they're trying to get some something going. Um, Booty has a fresh limit right now, so he's ready to pop at any time. And um, good stock by Kamex. And you know, if they could get the stock off of Suarez right now, um, they might not be in that bad of a shape. Yeah, but that's uh, definitely easier said than done with the weight of Yoshi. But Kamex going deep. Yep. Ooh, that could have maybe been it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, you have to. You definitely have to apply pressure on Suarez right now if you're Kamex and Booty. And that seems like what they're trying to do. But P PK Chris is right there trying to wall both of them out. And interesting. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, and that's that's a, okay. That was uh, good stuff. I was able to that stock and <laughs> almost <laughs> is not enough. Uh. <laughs> yeah, but if you're Kamich, you definitely go for that play. So that's very good stuff by Kamich trying to get that early stock. Um, and right now, yeah, um, Kamich needs to protect Woody's stock at any cost. One thing um, interesting I noticed was when you were talking about how they need to apply pressure on Suarez, PK Chris literally stood grounded in shield. Mm. And, and that might not seem like much, but in doubles, that's quite literally a wall on the ground because yeah. you can't run through people, you know? So um, it, it was pretty smart by PK Chris to literally just wall off. Yeah, no, and as you say that, PK Chris is literally standing there pressing jab as Kamex is charging spin dash, clicking with spin dash, and Suarez is right there to punish. Like, that's exactly what they're doing. Ooh, Ooh. Yeah, yeah, nowhere to go. And yeah. um, yeah, I mean that was that was good. That was um, that was pretty surgical, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like both those games were lost in 30 seconds, and we just had to see it play out. Just based on the fact that when they had a deficit, their whole team dynamic fell apart, and they didn't mm -hmm. know how to really adapt. Um, but yeah, PK, Chris, and Suarez just showing. I feel like they're both players who are so strong in aggression, and just showed that in doubles. Like they both knew how to um sandwich off each other, like we were saying. Yeah, 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 and and um, they definitely like when they, when they went to go picking picking a target for either of them, they definitely locked in on a character, whether it was Booty or whether it was Kamex in the corner, right? They definitely had a set game plan on how they wanted to approach each character, and I feel like that goes to um, they probably played a lot with each other, right? Not saying that Kamex and Booty haven't played each other in winter semis right now, mm -hmm. right? Um, but it feels like that that goes to the synergy with the team that you're like you were talking earlier, like um, playing Lee Charlie in Long Island so so much probably, and now this is that's what that's what you get, so. 